What up, world? Happy Tuesday. Coming at you hot on a beautiful Tuesday morning. Um, look, it's no secret that my life has had its share of ups and downs. It definitely has. Uh, not proud of the downs at all. But, of course, that's life. Things happen. It's our job to adjust when they do. One of those things that I had to adjust from was a situation that involved a friend, Jonathan J.T. Jackson, where he was charged in a case. And J.T. Jackson has recently been found not guilty and those charges have been dropped against him. And I can finally speak on what I once could. I couldn't do it because of the legal process. You know, they kind of put a fork in the road between he and I and that relationship was lost. But I'm glad that now not only can I finally speak on it, but I can say I'm happy that that chapter in my life is over. I'm happy that we're able to put a period on that sentence and I'm excited to get back to life as we once knew it. I want to get back to life as I once knew it and put that behind me and move on. This message is about moving on. It's over. It's over and I'm happy that it's over. Live, love, and laugh. It's that simple. Now. What you saw was Kevin Hart's reaction to um, his former friend, JT Jackson's um, <clears throat> being found not guilty of the <clears throat> extortion scheme that happened in 2017, um, <clears throat> which uh, outed Kevin as a cheater on his wife. Um, my thoughts and feelings, okay, it's great that they both can move on, that it's over. Um, I wish the best for both of them, truly. <clears throat> Kevin, um, I feel he just flippantly dismissed um, JT in that reaction. Like, it was all about him, you know. Um, you're not innocent in all this, Kevin. <clears throat> Let's put away the, uh, the cheating on the wife situation. That's a whole entire something else. But the uh, accusation that you put in... Um, you put on JT at one point. You can find news coverage on the channel Comedy Hype where JT Jackson did a full-length interview even along with his lawyer. And um, it was pretty... I watched it and I truly believe that he had nothing to do uh, with this and he got effed over. And... Um, Part of the blame definitely goes to Kevin Hart. So I feel Kevin needs to step up and give a genuine apology. Uh, him just like not even like addressing JT. Uh, it that was very cold, you know. Yeah, you two can move on, and uh, I hope that that will be the case. But. Uh, it just sort of, you know, got to me a bit that Kevin is is self centered. There is a bit of narcissism. There's there's a bit of narcissism narcissism within him that he has to deal with, and this shows it definitely because it's all about him, 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 him. You know, I'm again. I'm glad that they can move on, but. You know, I, I feel like some amends needs to happen on Kevin's part, you know. Now, one thing I know about amends is like it doesn't mean that you're going to uh, <clears throat> get back that friendship you had. Uh, it could be damaged beyond repair, but there could be some um, healing between you two through a genuine apology. You know? So anyways, that's just my thoughts and feelings about the whole entire thing. Again, congratulations on um, JT being not found guilty. I'm very glad for that. And that both can, can actually move on and live their lives, even if it is separately. All right. Take care.